What's that thing you keep buying that you think should work, but it never does? For me, it's sweatshirts. After years of wondering what to wear whenever everyone else was wearing a sweatshirt, I finally, in my mind, started translating sweatshirt into sweater and then feeling more like myself. Understanding your own style preferences provides kind of an immunity from buying mistakes. If I hadn't figured out that I always feel frumpy in sweatshirts, I'd still be buying them. Actually, I still have one. I will tell you more about that later. Because I am a social subtype in the Enneagram, uh, and Enneagram subtypes impact what we're attuned to and inform style preferences in specific ways. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm Rebecca Milkey. As your visual identity guide, I take you on a journey of self-discovery so you can show up as your authentic self and contribute your gifts to the world. As your first baby step into self-discovery, I invite you to download my free color guide, Discover Your Style DNA, a guide to seasonal energy and personality colors. You can find the link in the show description or at my website, signaturestylesystems.com. So what is the Enneagram? Uh, I think most of you, probably all of you have heard of it. So this is gonna be brief. In broad terms, it is a personality typology system. Unlike Myers-Briggs, which des describes your cognitive wiring, like the, the wiring of your brain. Uh, and that's the foundation of your visual identity journey with me. The Enneagram more describes the core motivations that drive our egos. It's less who we innately are and more a strategy. So there are nine Enneagram types. And I don't necessarily think your Enneagram type is important for how you dress. Uh, but I do see a connection to the Enneagram survival instincts, which are called subtypes. So the three inst instincts are self-preservation, sexual, and social. And then they combine with the nine types to create 27 subtypes. The definitions I'm using come from the book Enneagram Through the Ages by Damien C. Russell. And you can find a link to the book on my website or um, on my website at the companion article to this episode. So the Enneagram subtypes, um, they are self-preservation and how that is defined is being attuned to personal comfort and physical needs. It pays attention to security, well-being, and personal boundaries. Then there's the sexual instinct, and it's tuned in to attraction dynamics, and it pays attention to attraction and chemistry issues in relationships. Then there's the social, and that one is attuned to social dynamics, and it pays attention to things about bonding and interpersonal interactions. So the other thing that you can note about these instincts is that everyone has all of them, but in different order of preference, it's generally spoken of people being dominant in one with another one second, and then the third one repressed. Uh, and I think that could actually carry over into what I'm going to say about style as well. So here's how I see the instincts showing up in personal style. Um, so the, the Enneagram self-preservation subtypes, the focus of the self-pres types is physical safety and personal comfort. And that could look like prioritizing comfort and practicality in their clothes, preferring to blend in rather than standing out possibly by wearing a lot of neutrals. 
um, they would like to potentially wear looser felt clothing to facilitate maintaining their personal boundaries. Having an adaptable wardrobe with layers and functional features, and then seeing classic and durable clothing as an investment. Then the focus of sexual subtypes is intensity and attraction. And this could include things like choosing clothes that highlight their best features. Um, this might be somebody who would push back on my uh, philosophy that your face should always be the focal point of your outfit. They would uh, potentially emphasize tactile or sensual qualities in fabrics and fit. Preferring to stand out rather than blending in. Wearing more form-fitting or bodycon clothing. And then dressing to attract attention or to make a statement. The focus of the social subtypes is group dynamics, belonging, and social status. Style strategies could look like dressing appropriately for the social context, choosing clothing that facilitates fitting in with various groups, selecting items that can serve as conversation starters, whether it's uh, a standout accessory or bright colors, wearing clothing that fits as expected or um, it's really common to wear like loose with more fitted, like loose fit pants with a fitted t-shirt or um, like real slim pants with an oversized tunic, those kinds of looks. And then preferring versatile pieces that can be dressed up or down. My Enneagram type is social. Uh, any Enneagram subtype. Um, and hence my challenge with sweatshirts. When sweatshirt weather rolls around, I see everyone else in sweatshirts and they look cool and comfortable. And I do love the fuzzy inside of sweatshirts. But um, yeah, so that triggers my desire to fit in. But my style DNA just doesn't resonate with sweatshirts. I have one now uh, that's kind of Kelly green. So it's really an amazing color that I love to wear. And it has puff shoulders and it has really cool seaming. And it's still just okay on me. Uh, but a sweater, that's better. So I have this bright yellow cashmere sweater with sweatshirt detailing. And that's my sweatshirt. Uh, so did you notice that there were notes in those lists that I gave uh, about fit for each of the instincts? So I think a great project for you this week for homework, if you want some, uh, would be just to try on some outfits and decide how you like your clothes to fit. Understanding your own style preferences, it does provide kind of an immunity from buying mistakes. And we all want to make fewer buying mistakes. Thank you so much for being here for Signature Style Systems and have fun being you. I'll meet you back here again real soon.